This lesson video is based on chemistry. We are still continuing with our stoichiometric series. This is lesson 102. It is the continuous lesson video of lesson 101 whereby we looked at basics. Let us start. In this lesson video we are going to focus on these two equations. Now it c is equal to n over v. So far from lesson 101 we were focusing on n number of moles measured in mole in this lesson video we are going to look at concentration or molarity concentration the SI unit is the combination of, of mole and volume which will be mole per dm cube the volume is measured in dm cube the number of moles is measured in mole or we look at this equation again this is also concentration in mole per dm cube and then we have actually this is not mole it's the mass in grams and then this is the molar mass this is the volume in dm cube let us look at examples our first example we have copper 2 which has 0.2 mole and then we are given the volume as 250 centimeter cube we need to convert 250 centimeter cube to dm cube now you should know that from centimeter cube to dm cube we divide by 1000 so 250 centimeter cubed divided by 1000 we are going to have 0 0.25 dm cube now we need to calculate the molarity or the concentration so c is equals to n over v we are going to use this equation since we have the volume and the number of moles so c is equals to 0 0.2 over 0 0.25 and then c is equals to 0 0.8 mole per dm cube let us look at another example in this scenario we have sodium hydroxide we have the volume of the sodium hydroxide which is 250 centimeter cube and then we need the mass in grams that will produce 0 0.4 mole per dm cube inside a 250 decimeter I mean cm cube so from the previous example we know that this is 0 0.25 dm cube then we start by using remember looking for the mass in grams we are given the concentration and the volume so we need to first calculate the number of moles 0 0.4 is equals to 0 n over the volume is 0 0.25 so we multiply both sides by 0 0.25 this will get rid of this and then the number of moles of sodium hydroxide is equals to 0 0.1 mole and then from here we can use our equation we learned from the previous lesson video is equals to the mass and then we look at the molar mass the molar mass of sodium hydroxide will be 40 so we multiply both sides by 40 This will get rid of this and then we have m is equals to 0 0.4 grams let us look at another example in this question we are looking for the concentration of hydrochloric acid uh, the mass is 73 grams we have the volume as our 250 centimeter cubed it's the same as 0 0.25 dm cube so we can use this equation
Now C is equals to the mass at 73 over the molar mass we have 36.5 the volume is 0 0.25 so C is equals to 8 mol per dm cube there is another method whereby we can first calculate the number of moles n is equals to m over m n is equals to the mass is 73 and then the molar mass is 36.5 then n is equals to 2 mole from there c is equals to n over v c is equals to 2 over 0 0.25 and then c is equals to 8 mole per dm cube We look at another example, feel free to pause the video and work out this question. Now we can use this equation again. C is equals to 70 over molar mass. It's 170. And then the volume is 0 0.25. Then our concentration is equals to 1.65 mole per dm cube now it's very important that you look at lesson video number one of stoichiometric series in order for you to understand how we calculate the molar mass n is equals to m over m n is equals to 70 over 170 n is equals to 0 0.41 mole and then c is equals to n over v c is equals to 0 0.41 over 0 0.25 and then you will see that the answer is 1.65 mole per dm cube i hope you got this one correct Pause the video, work out this question and play the video to verify your answer. Now this square brackets is the notation, another notation or another way to represent concentration. So in this case we are given the concentration, we are given the volume. We are looking for the mass in grams to prepare this concentration. So converting 500 centimeter cube to decimeter cube we find that our concentration is 0 0.5 decimeter cube and then from there we can use this equation our c is 0 0.6 we are looking for the mass our molar mass is it's 40 and then our volume is 0 0.5 so we can multiply both sides by 0 0.4 i mean 40 and 0 0.5 so this will get rid of this and then m is equals to 12 grams of sodium hydroxide I hope you got this answer correct that's it for this lesson video this is Pahula SJ thank you very much